Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Mustafa welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy Today I am going to discuss some questions from integration part for the students of intermediate level Dear students, in our last few classes we have started the integration part and this is the lesson number 4 Already we have done how to integrate the algebraic equations and the trigonometric functions in last two classes Now I am going to discuss some integrations of some fraction type integrations like sin x by cos x 1 plus sin x by 1 minus cos x so these types of fractions today we will discuss okay once more i will come to you in my classes so dear students today we will practice some questions which already came in the different board standard exam or board exam uh, this is today our first match is number one integrate of sin of x 3 plus 4 cos of x d of x and first of all you have to give attention and the, if you integrate denominator parts and after integration if you get the numerator part that this maths may be easier to you if you follow this step and after doing if you Thing, the differentiation of numerator parts if give the result denominator parts then you can start it from numerator parts but we see here this is the denominator parts 3 plus 4 cos of x so after doing the differentiation of cos of x easily you will get sin of x and then 3 will be 0 that's how we can start it from the denominator part okay let 3 plus 4 times of cos of x cos of x equal z now differentiate with respect to x this one will get 0 and this one will be uh, 4 times of minus sine of x then this one will be d of x this is dz so now find the result of this one uh, this is now minus 4 times of sine of x dx equals to dz so now convert this one as a uh, sine of x dx will be 1 by 4 this is the 1 by 4 minus dz so we started from the denominator parts but after the result we see here sin of x dx the result of sin of x dx is 1 by 4 times of dz so now use here The result of the integration this one will be minus 1 by 4 d z and this is the z using their value so now shift this one 1 by 4 integration of 1 by z d of z so this one similarly using the simple formula here 1 by x dx 1 by z dz will give you ln of z after integration complete you can use here c now apply the value of z here is the ln z is 3 plus 3 plus 4 cos of x this is the c and this is our answer so this question came in Dhaka 2013 7 and 3 so uh, this is Dhaka 2013 7 and she so which book basically you follow you can review this maths from your book so let's see another example number six okay number two 
This question is integration 1 by x 1 plus ln x then d of x. This question came in Chittagong board 2012 and Borishal board you can see here 2009. So dear audience give attention. Uh, if we start we know the differentiation of ln x will give 1 by x. So if you started from this one taking as if this one is z or a whatever you will get the another part okay as like as previous one let 1 plus ln of x equal z now differentiate with respect to x will get here 0 plus ln of x differentiation will be 1 by x d of x equal dz so differentiate after doing differentiation that means 1 by x d times of x is d of z you can apply this one here 1 by x d of x so our maths will be now integration of uh, 1 by x d times of x is d of z and this is z again see this one is z 1 by x times of dx is dz so now what we see integration of 1 by z 1 by x is like as you can write here z and this is constant number c our answer is complete now use the value here z is 1 plus ln of x and this is our final answer so dear audience let's see another one next question this is the question number three uh, integration of tan of x ln cos x d of x so we can start at this one from the like as previous one from the denominator part ln basically give you 1 by x and cos x then differentiation will give you a sign so you will get here sign by cos that means 10 that's how we will start it from ln of cos x so let ln cos x equal z differentiate with respect to x this one will give uh, like we can use here formula it may be easier to you to calculate easily differentiate with respect to okay x so now ln of x is 1 by x so that's why this one will give you cos x then differentiate of uh, d by dx of uh, cos x 1 by x then differentiation of cos x will give you minus sine of x and uh, this is uh, this is dz by d of x uh, what you see here just multiply both side with minus minus so sin x by cos x or we can write here next line we will do this calculation is doing the cross multiplication you will get here dz already dx minus at the so shift minus multiply with both side minus d of x equal minus dz so now apply here tan x equal uh, minus dz ln of x ln of x equal z already our work done is complete 1 by z so minus ln z plus c now use the value here ln z is again ln cos of x 
and then finally C which is our answer so dear students we have done here three maths we will practice two more maths here so let's see another one Question number four uh, Integration of D of X root over nine minus sixteen X square. Uh, this is too much important question. Dhaka vote came two thousand four zero six Ratshahi vote. This is two thousand three and zero six. Chitagong board, you can see 2006. So, we all know basically we will apply here this formula integration of 1 by root over a square minus x square d of x equal sine inverse x by a. So, now we will from this one as like as this one. This is the single a, there is no more constant. This is the constant, uh, sorry, coefficient is 1. Here coefficient is 16, so we will take common 16. Integration of uh, d of x, uh, 16 is common. This one will be now 9 by 16, and this one is now x square using here d of x. Now, root over 16 means 1 by 4 d of x here you can write 3 by 4 as a, a whole square minus x square same d of x now this is 3 by 4 is a and this is the x so root over a square minus x square this 1 by 4 remains same this is now sine inverse x by a so x divided by a our integration is complete now we can use here c just do simple calculation 1 by 4 sin inverse this is 4 times of x divided by 3 and the constant number is c this is our answer so it's too much easy just you have to memorize this one 1 by square root of a square minus x square that is this is the constant number here the coefficient of x square should be 1 and then d of x uh, will give sine inverse x by a so similarly i will give you two maths you can practice and share your answer with me Uh, like I am giving you number 4 and number 5 you can to practice you integration of d of x root over 2 minus 3x square first of all you have to take common here 3 then convert it here 2 by 3 square root and so this maths answer will be 1 by root over 3 sine inverse root over 3 x divided by root over 2 so you can practice this one another one i am giving uh, this is the number 6 you can practice almost as like as previous one 5 minus 4 x square integrate this result will be result is half times of sine inverse 2 times of x divided by root over 5 plus c oh you can add here constant number c 